What's up YouTube, 426 Extractor Guy here. Today I'm going to do a detailed tour of my tool cart and what tools I have. I'm going to start with this first drawer. Here are my screwdrivers. I have gear wrench screwdrivers and Torx drives. There are also some Allen keys that I keep inside. I have a set that I bought. It had flat head and Phillips head in it. and I use these quite a bit. I also have Torx drive, which I don't use as much, only the bigger ones for on, when I work on some cars. In the next drawer below that, I have my pliers. This one's a bit full, I don't have much room in it anymore. I have these crimping pliers, which for electrical terminals, which work really good. I also have a few vice grips, which I don't use too much. They're good for the rusted and rounded heads on nuts and bolts. I have a pair of snap ring pliers that I have a little thing of replaceable heads for. One thing that's good to have if you're working with a lot of zip ties is flush cutters because you can cut the zip tie and leave no little plastic thing sticking off to cut yourself on. I have some wire strippers and all your normal pliers. Underneath that, I have my standard ratcheting wrenches. I have a stubby set, and these they're reversible, and they have a slight angle. You can reverse the direction that you use them in which is really handy to have. Underneath this drawer, I have my metric ratcheting wrenches. I have a stubby set and a normal one. Also a couple miscellaneous ones. Extra 10 millimeter because I need that a lot for working on, when I'm working on quads. These are also have the reversible option. Standard just combination wrenches. I have a lot of these. 6.12 point end stubbies. These are the 6 point set at the top. Actually, no, the 12 point, and these are the 6 points at the bottom. And I have the stubbies over here. Underneath that is my metric wrenches. Same setup, 12 points at the top, 6 points at the bottom, and the stubbies on the side. I don't use the metric ones as much because I'm not working on cars yet. But when I bought it, it all came in sets. Here is my kind of miscellaneous drawer. There's a scraper down here, hook and pick set, hose puller. I have some valve lapping tools, snap-on hand impact wrench, which is nice to have, feeler gauges, and razor blades. This last drawer that I have is kind of miscellaneous stuff. I have an air thing, these parts washers, brushes, off the side of the tool cart, I have this ratchet socket set. It's also gear wrench. Half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch drive. They have 84 tooth ratcheting mechanisms, which is very, very nice to have for small areas. There's a mix of six point and 12 point. I also have for the quarter inch, I have deep sockets. I love having. I use those like all the time. Hanging off the side of the tool cart, I also have a tap and die set. This is a cheaper one. I want to get a more expensive one because 
these cheap ones sometimes aren't worth even having because they don't work as well and they will probably break even more than the expensive ones. Now at the bottom of my desk I have this toolbox right here which I keep some files in and hammers. I have lots of hammers inside. There's I have two pound dead blow, one pound dead blow. This one's a little like six ounce one that has a brass head. And then I have this dead blow hammer which is kind of junky. I just use it for everything. Wire brush and then I have a three pound drilling hammer, which is gear wrench, 16 ounce ball peen, 24 ounce, and 32 ounce. I also have a gear wrench and indexing pry bar, which is pretty useful to have. They can adjust the head. I should probably get a bigger toolbox for this because I, if I put these in wrong, I usually can't get them back in correct, which is kind of annoying. And then under my desk I also have another toolbox which has some miscellaneous stuff in it. I have these adjustable wrenches, a snap-on, some proto tools. I have a torque wrench in here. 3 8 does the pound inch flex head ratchet. I have these shears in here because I can't fit them in my other cabinet. I have my digital multimeter. And down at the bottom, this is actually kind of old junk. I have a breaker bar down there, some wire, some double-sided tape. Kind of all junk. Now, here, there's another toolbox I have. It sits on the tool cart. This is a heavy duty half inch drive SK Tools. I don't have it in SAE, I don't have it in um, metric. This is kind of worn out for loosening. It's, the teeth are kind of all messed up. Now onto the tool cart itself. Now on the tool cart, I have a box of gloves on the side. I try to reuse my gloves because it's kind of hard to find them to get these. These are good, pretty good gloves. A roll of paper towels, a roll of wire on these quick grip clamps, which is really nice. Back here, I have my punch and chisel set, some grease, safety glasses. I have assorted zip ties down here, a big Mayhew pry bar, big screwdriver oil filter wrench. I got a different fire extinguisher to put on the side. And then I changed my desk a little since my last video. I put some diamond plate on it. I got the vise mounted. I'm going to get some pieces of wood to go off the bottom so that if I'm hammering it won't shake as much. I have another socket set over here. This is my old one. Here are all my manuals, my books, torch area. I just got this blow torch. And then there's a fire extinguisher there. Right here are all my aerosol cans. These are my lubricating ones, my cleaning ones. Down here, this is lighting, air, and grease tools. I did get a new grease gun. I got a pistol grip one, that black one right there. That blue one is a like a normal grease gun, I guess. And then I got this air hose. I use this air hose, 25 foot Flexzilla. And then this air compressor. It's getting replaced soon because it started just to stop working. I got a work light, which is good because this side of the garage that I'm on is a little bit dimmer than the other side. And it gives off a little heat, which is annoying sometimes, but 
It'll be nice in the winter when it gets really cold. I got these plastic bins from a friend. I use them for storing stuff when I'm taking stuff apart. I'll put it in these right here, my heat shrink electrical terminals. And then some wire loom at the bottom. Here are some nails. This cabinet that I added over here, I kind of put like my, my flammable stuff in it. I have oil, paint, aerosol stuff. It's just, keeps it nice and locked up. But thank you for watching. Please consider liking the video. Please subscribe. And see you next time. See you later.